Okay, so what we're going to look at here is what to do in the event that we forget to add our blend shapes to our mesh and then it gets rigged. Okay, so you can see here that I've got a rigged character, but I don't actually have any blend shapes on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my target shapes, same as I did before, and then shift select my base mesh. I'll go up to my create deformers, blend shape, into the options, and we'll just call that expressions, and hit create. Okay, so as we can see, Maya hasn't kicked out an error, but watch what happens when I move my character's head down and then go in to my blend shape window and turn on a blend shape. Notice that we're getting a very strange effect, alright? And this is to do with the deformation order because what's happening is the blend shape information is occurring after a rigged skeleton. So while the skeleton will work, our blend shape won't. It's going to return to the position it was when we applied it. So to fix this, if I just reset the rotation on that joint, and I'm going to go up to my inputs icon here. So if I just click on this, you'll notice that I have no selection. So in order to get access to the inputs for a specific object, we have to select it, go up to here, and you'll now notice that we've got a full drop-down box. If I go into all inputs, you'll see that I have a list here. I have a blend shape, a skin cluster, and a tweak. All I'm going to do here is use my middle mouse button to take the skin cluster and move it above the blend shape. All right, hit close, and now, if I go back in, move the character's head, turn on the smile, and you can see that that now works perfectly. So what I want to do now is I'm going to, again, reset that, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete these expressions. I now want to go ahead and show you how to add in a blend shape should you need to add one in at a later stage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just apply these two shapes to my blend shape. So we'll call that expressions and hit create. I'll go ahead and adjust my inputs one more time and close that off. So just to double check that that works, we can move our character's head, open up the blend shape window, and the brows and the smile are working fine. But now I want to go ahead and add in my blink shape. So we're going to find these features under the Edit Deformer menu. So I'm going to select my target shape, select my base mesh, and go to Edit Deformers, Blend Shape, Add, and then to the Option box. And then here we have to tell Maya that we want to add it in to the Node Expressions, and then just hit Apply and Close. Now, if I go back into my Blend Shape window, you'll notice we have our blink, and it works correctly. 